I love bathhouses. I've been to them all over the world. I've been to Turkish baths in Turkey, Japanese sento in Japan, and Moroccan hammam in Morocco. And of course, China also has their individual take on the bathhouse. Public bathhouses have long been part of the culture of northeastern China. Due to the geography of the northeast, there are many natural hot springs, as I experienced firsthand when I visited Jilin a few years ago. I'm so hot and so cold at the same time. Originally, people used these hot springs as a refuge against the cold, but over time, the use of hot springs developed and evolved into a distinctive bathing culture. The original bathhouses were much more simple, offering simply a place for people to bathe and clean themselves, and of course, get the essential scrub down. But with the modern times, there are of course, modern bathhouses, and the services offered here are much more abundant. And that's what I'll be sharing with you today, the modern bathhouses of China. My friends here, Nico hey. and Jack, they've never experienced a Chinese bathhouse before, so today that's exactly where I'm gonna be taking them. How are you guys feeling about your first ever trip to a Chinese bathhouse? Well, it's not just our first ever trip to a Chinese bathhouse like it's our first ever trip to a bathhouse. Oh are you kidding me? No! So what do you think you're gonna be seeing today? Like what are you expecting? <laughs> oh I mean not like that way. I think I'm gonna be seeing dicks dicks dicks. Yes there is uh, some amount of public bathing involved. I personally <laughs> love it. Uh, like the first time I did it I remember it was with some girlfriends in Japan. Before I know it we're all stripping off and I'm like these are my friends like and now I'm seeing them naked it was so weird but for like 10 seconds and then it was so normal and then everything was fine so I think if the gyms are anything to go by here then people aren't a lot more free a lot more open yeah. it's gonna be a lot less of a big deal yeah what if we get hungry like what oh. are we gonna do are we just gonna oh be my stuck God. in there it's got a 24 it's open 24 hours 24 what? hours a 24 day? hours you can actually sleep there and, wow. there, and and how that is possible is there is a 24 hour restaurant there it's also very very affordable what we're about to do it's like 130 renminbi for a day what so how it works we're gonna go in we're gonna check in when you check in you get a clip and an armband so he's taken the clip to identify our shoes so we can come out at the end and know which shoes are whose and then we use this inside to collect any expenses. So if we want to get a massage or a facial, we can just use this to scan. And this is also our locker key as well, so don't lose this. Next step is heading into the public bathing area, which is separated by gender. No mixed gender bathing here. See you on the flip side. <laughs> and we are gonna head into the female guest area. Switch that camera off. <laughs> So how lush was that? That was so nice. I feel like this is the cleanest I've ever felt in yeah, my life. Yeah, it's so nice because you've got showers which have like the most lush shampoo and conditioner and bath gel. You've got baths. We went in like three different baths. And all the baths are different temperatures. Some are pleasantly warm while others are scalding. You can choose the one that works best for you. So now we're ready for the relaxation part. Yeah. Well, first we need to find Jack. We can't see him. So either he's still in there which means he's been in there for a good 40 minutes. Yeah. Which is decent. So while we wait for Jack, I'm gonna keep Nico contained here in this 24 hour restaurant so she won't go exploring the rest of this place. Where is Jack? I'm, I'm a little bit worried. I feel like he's gonna have a story to tell. So it is 5 p.m. Jack has been there for over an hour. What could he possibly be doing? <laughs> do, you, do you know how long you're in there for? Minutes, hour and a half. Hour and a half. How was it? It was really good. I actually compiled some notes. So my first impressions were todgers and todgers and todgers. What's a todger? Everywhere. Google it. My second thoughts were excellent shower pressure. Oh yeah. I'd pay for the shower alone. Now the pools, they were something to the behold. Baths. The baths. Well, the big pool. Are you swimming in them? Yeah, the big pool. That's that's my one of my few criticisms is that the temperature in the big pool was a bit like which I was swimming lengths in. It was like a little bit too warm. It's, it's a too bath fast you don't us. swim. <laughs> there was definitely no one swimming in our bath, so just everyone just perched nicely on the sides. Yeah, a lot of like oh. chilling. Oh, there was only one notable incident, which was when I was kind of like spread eagle and just kind of complaining about and some of, doing backstroke. Yeah, some some loud <laughs> Beijing ren came up to like came to the pool to ask if I was okay. <laughs> and then told with the with one of the people who worked there. I think they thought I was like struggling in the <laughs> knee deep water. <laughs> How many people were in your bath? Uh, well, when I came in, probably ten. But when I oh. left, like maybe one or two. So <laughs> yeah, I think you maybe drove them away. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is only the very beginning. We're gonna go upstairs and uh, get your thoughts on the layout. I introduce to you relaxation paradise, four levels of absolute bliss. Is this what I think it is? Yes. This is sleeping pods with a library vibe down below. Yes. It's not bad. It's like 
warm. These one person pods are one of the most common things you'll see here and they come in all shapes and sizes, perfect to sleep in, chill in, read a book in, but no book? No worries, there's a whole library of books to choose from here, although there aren't any English books so I had to pretend to read this one. But it's not just one person pods you'll find, you've also got these relaxation spaces. Some of them are even themed. This one here is called The Bank. So I lock you in, <laughs> see how it feels. <laughs> and then you've got the camping area. This area here is really, really cool. It's the camping area. They've got tents here and even this starry sky and this massive tree. <laughs> So of course we had to get into a tent and give it a try. I feel oh. like so. I wish I was in grey. Yeah, this colour for. Pink is not my colour. It's literally the same colour as you, Amy. Yeah, I know. I feel like a mole rat. <laughs> literally twins. What I think this place is really good for is. You know, if you live on campus and you share a room with seven oh, people, if yeah. you have many roommates, space. or if you have a really big family and you don't have any privacy, this would be a great place to come for not that much money and just have some space. Like, you can study here, you can do some work at the tables, you can have a little relax or a read. It's like a leisure area, like a living room, but just not at home. And I know I keep saying this, but there's more to come. I like this area through here. This is all the hot rooms. So you've got saunas, hot rooms, steam rooms of all varieties. This is my favorite one, rock, salt, bath. Look how nice it is. Oh wow, oh, so cute. Are they hot? Yeah, really hot. You've got the stone bath, which basically does what it says on the label. It's literally a bath of stone. Chinese herb bath. You go inside, it smells like Chinese herbs. And look, all of these drawers have different kinds of herbs inside. But yeah, definitely the most variety of hot rooms and steam rooms that I've ever seen. It's really hot in here as well. Touch the light, what should be texture the light is? Why are you touching the light? I don't know. And if you get all sweaty after spending time in these hot rooms, no worries, you can always jump back into the showers whenever you want. And this is only the half of it. The really? half of it? There is a cinema here. There are gaming rooms filled with playstations and computers. There's a screaming room. You want to see the screaming room? Yeah. So this is the funnest, the vent chamber. This is a completely soundproof room where you're encouraged to scream and punch the punching bags. I'll demonstrate. Okay. <laughs> How to scream. <laughs> Guess who's never taken a boxing class? That would be me. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, Nico. Every time I've been here, no one, I've never seen anyone using this vent chamber. I mean, it's a good idea, but like, I'm quite zen. Like, yeah. I'm quite relaxed until that now. <laughs> I know what'll calm you down a bit. How about a beer? Here they have a fully stocked mini supermarket situation complete with drinks and snacks. This looks interesting. Oh, is that like fresh tofu? Fish tofu. Mm, yummy. And when you check out, you simply just scan your bracelet to collect any extra expenses. I don't think you'd be able to sell like alcohol if this was in like a Western country. I think maybe people would almost like abuse it, but do you guys reckon they even sell much booze here? Probably not. No, but like I feel like if this was in like a Western country, I'd probably come here after once the bars have closed and uh, with my mates. <laughs> At the shop I saw this that really tweaked my fancy. Xiang La Wei Yu Dou Fu. That's Dou so shuma? weird. Dou <laughs> tofu. <laughs> tofu. It's like translated kind of as like fish flavored tofu. And I haven't had this snack before. So I thought, since I am technically a food blogger, oh, of course it's individually wrapped. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying. Doesn't really have much of a flavor. I can't work out whether it's fish or tofu. Well, it's fish tofu. So it's fish? So apparently fish tofu is actually not tofu at all. It's a starchy fish cube that has a tofu-like texture. It usually does contain fish and soy bean oil. Soy bean? <laughs> I have lost complete track of time and space. It could be 4pm, it could be 8pm. I have no idea. We've just been hanging out, eating some crisps, having some drinks. I've just been lying on this floor for the last half hour or so. But believe it or not, there is still more we haven't explored. Another thing they have here 
is an arcade room. I mean, honestly, when I think of bathhouse, this is definitely not the thing that comes to mind, but I'm excited to spend these tokens regardless. Oh! Oh! Come on, get us a toy. Oh, oh so good no. it. It's so good it. Ah! Ready to play until I drop. I guess I first have to choose the game I want to play. There's oh quite yeah. A here. There's car games. There is oh fighting games. This is Tekken. Oh yeah. Oh my god, this is like my childhood. I'm the girl. Look, I'm kicking ass. You just keep pressing buttons. That's the trick. Oh fuck. It wasn't long before Nico wanted in on the tech in action. <laughs> oh, did you have like a, a mean kick on oh. <laughs> Everything I said about Tekken being my childhood was a lie because this game, this here was my childhood. Mario 3. The one where he can turn into this raccoon thing and fly. Oh, oh yes! You can tell I used to play this a lot. How are you guys feeling? Feeling good, but... My stomach's kind of hurting, to be honest. Hurting? Relaxing. Is it called it's... hunger? <laughs> yeah, I think it's relaxing. It's burnt off too many calories. It looks like they've got a restaurant downstairs. Though. So I have eaten here before, and um, I find the food's very salty. They do have a decent selection of food here. You've got your rice dishes, dumplings, even some more exotic platters and fish dishes. But I've never really loved anything I've eaten here. Food is usually a really important part of the modern bathhouse experience and it's a good way to keep your guests around for longer so they can keep racking up other expenses. Some bathhouses I've been to even have all-you-can-eat buffets included in the price of admission. I was thinking we could go and grab something outside. Yeah. I'll have a look and see what's nearby. Nearby and open, I should add, because at this stage it was already 11 p.m. Ooh, have you guys ever had Tiaguadun before? Iron pot stew? I love iron pot stew. Since we've spent the day enjoying the bathhouse, a very northeastern Chinese experience, I thought it was only appropriate we get a northeastern dish for dinner too. Tia Guodun is the most warming, hearty, comforting stew which hails from the chilly regions of the northeast. So there is a Tia Guodun place, literally 87 meters away. So we're gonna go there, check it out, have some nosh. I was sad to leave, but I am very excited for the yumminess to come. I've been craving this for a few days. And my mouth starts watering as soon as I'm through the door. Best thing about a Tia Guodun are these corn cakes on the side of the pot. You'll see. Look yes. at our room here. The relaxation does not stop. We have like a full on bed area. So how does this iron pot stew work, you may be asking. The top is taken off the pot and we have some ingredients here that we've ordered. So it's a bit like a raw potato aubergine dish, right? <laughs> <laughs> so there's actually going to be meat that goes in here and it's going to be very juicy. This is what you come for, that delicious sauce and then basically it's just going to stew in there for a bit. No cheesy or the cheesy. And they're going to cook along with the pot and then you can dip it in. And then we put the top on the pot. Yeah, do do it, Jonah. Oh, hada. Twenty minutes. What are we gonna do for twenty minutes? Bloody hell. That's why this bed must be here. So we just oh. have, we can all have a little nap now. Oh, the smell of tiaguodun filling the air. Who needs essential oils when you've got tiaguodun steam? After twenty minutes or so, the top comes off, and that amazing smell of stew will wrap around you like a hug. And if it wasn't already fragrant enough, garlic, scallions, and coriander are added right at the end to add another level of flavor. And I would recommend you get that corn cake deep in there. Yeah, just get that in there. Oh, it's so good. It's like slightly sweet. And the bottom, look how crispy it is. Very deep, earthy flavors. Nice sort of like salty tones to it. Burning my inside slightly though. I feel like you really need to pick the things out just before you want to eat them so they can cool down a bit because it's very hot. Oh yeah, look at your little... <laughs> wow. Trying to get some... Trying to get everything to cool down. Like these potatoes. Ooh, they my take furnace. a while, yeah. yeah. Getting some extra sauce. Gonna pour it on my chicken. My mouth is gonna be burning and tingling for days because I just, I just don't have the required patience for this dish to let it cool down. I just take it out and it just straight into mouth. So we polished off as much of the Teogordon as we could um, and we also have some nice takeaway boxes here. Oh, look at this little cat. Cute, isn't it? Yeah, he wants to do the conclusion with us. 
Thank you guys so much for coming with me today. Was it what you were expecting? Not in the slightest. It was like, it went way beyond my expectations. Did you like it? I absolutely loved it. Will you I do it again? No. Oh. But next week. Oh, amazing. I'll come. <laughs> so that's it from us. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe both to my channel and of course Nico channel. These guys do the most amazing videos there. Tune in and subscribe and do all the things. Anyway, until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>